Hi guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. This is Ayesh Samalyala. From the past few days, I have received a lot of comments related to this particular university, SNU Chennai, regarding their interview process, regarding their exam, regarding their admission process. So without taking much time, let me give you all the details about this particular thing. An academy, which is India's biggest online learning platform, will always surprise you with its crazy good offers for the preparation of IDJE. So if you are someone who is preparing for IDJE, or if you are having any friends or family members who are preparing for IDJE 2023 or 2024 and looking to take a subscription on on academy so this is the right time because they are offering you 20 percent on your idj subscriptions if you use my code charan vit c h a r a n y t usually whenever you use my code you just get only 10 percent but now they are offering you 20 percent 10 percent extra so you are going to save a lot more and you are going to get the same an academy subscription at the best price you want so this offer is valid only from 27 that is from today till 30th so once after the deadline you are not going to get these kind of offers so don't miss this chance of getting uh, the subscription as low as possible use the link in the description and my code charan vit c h a r a n y t to get 20 percent off on your idje subscriptions on an academy so first this is shivanada university chennai let me just show you the placement stats of them so they have mentioned a few things about their placements here at their official website. If you see here, they are saying that like last year average CTC is 7.54 lakh per annum, which is good, really good, pretty good. Highest was 64 lakh per annum. So these are the fee details of SNU CW. For example, for the exam, you need to pay 1500. Okay, 1500 is the fees for the exam. Tuition fees per annum will be for Indian nationals, 2,25,000 per annum. Admission fees is 10,000, one time non-refundable. And university caution deposit, this is 10,000 one time, you need to pay only in the start and that is refundable. This fees which you are seeing for the hostel is excluding electricity charges. So you can see you have a lot of options here like AC, single room, shared room, attached washroom, without attached washroom. So according to your interest, you can just uh, take that accordingly, you will be you have to pay the amount. And if you are uh, a day scholar, if you want to apply for transportation, for that you need to pay 1,95,000 per annum. So this is about the fee details of SNU CWE, okay. So now let me just show you online application uh, like uh, process. First step will be first you need to register and apply online. So I'll show you how to apply. Second thing is fill particulars and pay the fees for SNUC double E. Okay. So you need to pay uh, the fees. Once after paying the fees, you need to choose a date and slot for the exam. Okay. After that, uh, like uh, you need to give the exam. So after that shortlisted candidates will be called for interview. So regarding this many people are asking, I will be adding a clip of last year recording uh, at the end so that you will get an idea about the interview. So uh, once the exam is completed, they will be calling you, I mean uh, on the merit basis, they will be selecting some students and they will be calling those students to the interview. And once after the interview is done, the final merit list will be out and based on the final merit list, they will be giving you the admission. So this is the process. Okay. Now, when it comes to SNU CE double exam details, so it's a, a entrance exam for two hours. Okay. Exam will be having aptitude for 45 minutes and uh, core subjects for 75 minutes. Core subjects in the sense physics, chemistry and maths. So BTEC programs, mathematics, physics and chemistry are mandatory subjects with a weightage of 50% for mathematics, 35 for physics and 15% chemistry respectively. This is about the exam. So who are all eligible like uh, candidates who completed or appeared for the 12th standard board exams are eligible for apply. So in your 12th standard, you should at least have mathematics, physics and chemistry are mandatory subject in order to apply for BTEC. Okay. So now when it comes to important dates, already they have completed three phases. Now the phase four is going to be held on 23rd July, SNUC double E, the exam is going to be held on 23rd July. And last date to apply for that phase four is 18 July 2022. Okay. So now I will show you how you should apply. So in order to apply, so I'll be leaving this link in the description. Just click the link, enter your name, email address, phone number. You will get an OTP whenever you enter the phone number. So you need to uh, enter this OTP there and select your state, city, program, um, program in the sense, is it B.Tech or engineering? So you can select engineering, select a school, school in the sense, school of engineering. That is the only thing. Select specialization, like what you need, B.Tech, computer science and engineering, cyber security, artificial intelligence, data science, computer science, engineering, internet of things. These three things are there. You can just select any one of that and you can just enter the text as shown and click this, check this box and click on apply now. So once you register and apply online, again, uh, it will ask you to verify your mail and all, all the stuff. Once after doing that, you will get a mail and all. So you need to open there and you will get a login ID and password and all those stuff. And you need to fill all your details. You need to choose which date. Of course, the date will be 23rd July because that is the only thing left and slot for the exam morning or afternoon or something like that. 
After that, you need to pay the fees and all those stuff, and you need to write the exam on 23rd July. You need to perform well in the exam. So 45 minutes for aptitude and uh, core subjects for 75 minutes. So once after performing well in the exam, if you got shortlisted, you will be called for interview. So now I will be going to add a clip where you are going to get information related to the interview, what they are going to ask, so how the interview pattern is going to be there. So just watch the video. When it comes to interview, you are going to have a general questions, mostly not the general knowledge, just general questions, general topic questions. So I will show you with the proofs also. And you can also expect some questions like simple questions from PCM, like chota chota questions from PCM. You may also expect the questions related to your interested branch. For example, if you are really interested towards AI and uh, data science, they will ask you what you know about it, why you wanted to take it. Those kind of questions you, you may expect. And while answering the interviewer, Try to give eye contact to him. Don't um, uh, like lose the eye contact and the confidence while answering. They will also check your communication skills and don't deviate from the topic which you are talking. So if, if a question is being asked to you, to the give the answer to the point rather than deviating from the topic. So that is going to be really helpful uh, during the interview. Like uh, you may say like how you know that they are go going to ask you only general questions. So last year I made a video regarding the interview after taking a review of one student who attended the interview. And in that video I asked the students whoever attended the interview please put the questions which are asked to you. So all those comments I have took the screenshots I have added here in this video. So I think that will be helpful for you. So now I will be showing you that. So chalo. If you see here, this particular student got attended to the interview and so I attended the SNU interview. They asked me about the benefits of electronic vehicles and the government poli policies that need to increase the need of these vehicles regarding EVs. So they asked about regarding electric vehicles. So you can see 11 months ago. Okay. And now the thing is one more student also attended the interview and uh, they asked him, I had attended the in uh, interview round of for SNU. For me, they asked me about the environmental issues. Okay. And he also said how to decrease the plastic usage and what is the, what is your main principle to reduce it? So these kind of questions you can expect. So this is one more comment, like 11 months ago comment. So she also attended the interview. They asked her the difference between hostel life and a day scholar life, which is best and what you support. So this is what the question to her. And so my reply is like, yes, it is totally general interview and that is your speaking abilities. And so that's what I mean, communication skills. If you are someone who are going to attend in the SNU interview, please do comment what questions are being asked to you so that same like this, I can help the students who are attending next year. So do comment on your questions, what questions you, uh, you got asked in the interview. Do share the video, do like the video and uh, do subscribe to the channel. Okay. Thank you guys.